I would do the first shave of the year uh, with a razor that's referred to as a lather catcher. Um, so let me first show you this brush and I want to start soaking it. Um, probably these knots have been kept catching some of y'all's attention. They're called tuxedo knots. Uh, very, very soft with a lot of backbone. And I restored this uh, brush, 1920s brush, uh, that I found out in an antique store in California. That's the first brush that I've rimmed out um, on the inside of the handle. And it had like a plaster of Paris to give it weight. Um, I've done several. That's the first one, and another one is a 50, it's a, it's a burgundy one. Um, they just had that substance in there to give it that weight, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to soak this. I just want to show y'all how soft those bristles were, how tight packed they are, uh, with a lot of backbone. Uh, I will be using, in my opinion, the best shaving cream there is. Uh, it doesn't get no better, as my picture says. It's orange. Uh, I believe it's got, it's got carrot extract in it. It's got its own smell to it. it smells good, uh, but my goodness, this stuff really performs. Don't need a whole lot of backbone in that brush, but I'm going to use that brush anyways for the color scheme. The leather catcher. Uh, I think it's a 1907 Ever Ready. You can see. Pretty cool. Got the ER right there. Kind of resembles a shovel head. And that right there catches all the lather. And I'm going to get into my shave and I'm going to stop talking and play a tune. Uh, but man, that thing's got some audible feedback, which I'll let y'all hear that. Uh, the blade is a stainless steel Teflon coated. Uh, just in case there's someone out there watching. Um, that's never shaved using a single edge. Uh, don't mistakenly put a carpenter blade into a razor meant for the face. Make sure it's a shaving blade. Put that in here just like so. Slides in there behind them too. See that pushed all the way down, and then this goes over top. And locks it into place, just like so. I had to think about it for a second. Shaving mug says shaving mug on it. And slop that out. Put a little bit on my tips. Don't need much. It really doesn't. It's probably way too much. But it's going to be a good shave. Going to be a good 2018. I wish everyone a uh, safe and prosperous year. And, uh, go for your dreams. Nothing happens thinking about it. So if you ain't started on what your goal is, you need to get on it. Ooh, gonna be good. With the face. Lather up. And we'll get in the shade. There's the lather. And as promised, I'll let y'all hear this audible feedback. And then let's get on and be done with the shave. These things get right up underneath the nose. Very cool, easy to manipulate and uh, provide a great shave.
Cool, huh? <laughs> Let's shave. Down south too much. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this so that you understand what I'm talking about. Down there we have a plant that grows out in the woods and the fields. Looks something like a turnip green. Nearby called it poke salad. Poke salad. <clears throat> you snow a girl lived down there and she'd go out in the evenings and pick her a mess of it. Get home and cook it for supper Cause that's about all they had to eat They did all right I'm down in Louisiana Where the alligators grow so mean That little dog girl that I swear to the world Made the alligators look tame Poke salad and it Everybody said it was a shame Cause her mama was wicked on a chain gang A mean, vicious woman mm. Every day for supper time She'd go down by the truck patch And pick her mess of poke salad Poke salad, honey. The gator's got your granny. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And everybody said it was a shame. Cause her mama was a wicked on the chain gang. A wretched, spiteful, straight razor tote moment. <laughs> Lord, I must have picked my mess up.
Get out of here, it's gonna be your very last day. 